On my site, I have a video that shows how to make one of these Faraday cages. And people have asked me what I put in my Faraday cage, and that's what this video is about. I wanted to show you what I put in it. Um, the first thing I want to uh, I want to talk about that I put in it, I put in for about six months in 2016, and that is my key fob. I only did it for six months, and this is why. In 2016, in the neighborhood, there were a lot of cars being broken into, and people locked their cars, and there was no sign of a break-in. So, um, doing a little investigation, I, I found out there there is a device they, they suspect that, that uh, thieves can use. They can actually go on the outside of your house and scan through your door or your wall to try to access um, your key fob. So, I, I would put my key fob in the... Um, in, in my Faraday cage for, for the time, at least while the cars are being broken into like that in the neighborhood. And I looked online, it says, according to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, a power amplifier works by amplifying and capturing the signal of your key fob back to the car. That boosts the signal range of the fob and then unlocks the vehicle. This can work even if your keys are in your pocket or at home. So I just wanted to bring that up. Um, if you start hearing about cars being broken into but there are not actually you know no broken windows and the people are locking them uh, it, it could be something like that so here's what I put in so I keep my my portable ham radio in here and a lantern this is an AM FM radio and the power supply for uh, for my portable ham radio. And then my other one, I've got my Chromebook. This is my Anchor solar panel um, battery. I can charge my cell phones up and, and that kind of thing. And this radio is a, a battery-operated AC plug-in, solar and crank. Um, so I, I leave that in here as well. Another lantern. I have a rechargeable batteries and a charger. I've got um, a couple walkie-talkies, headlamp. The antenna for my walkie-talkies. This is my um, handheld ham radios. And this one. This is my Bofang. And these are all the chargers for uh, for the radios. So that's that's basically what I keep in in this. If you can if you can put a radio in here and then this, have the signal go away when you seal it off, that proves you have enough uh, protection for for a, from a standard EMP. So let's just test that out real quick. Pulled by the evangelical biblical scholar Don Carson. There's no friend. To So the signal went away. According to Dr. Bradley, that should be adequate for um, a standard EMP. Grammatically, it's Peter. You can't get away from So if you have some sensitive equipment that you want extra protection for, um, then you just put foil around it or, or Mylar bags. But uh, this should be fine just the way it is. All right, so if this has been helpful um, or you enjoyed it, please share it, uh, like it, maybe subscribe. And um, thanks for taking the time to watch. Appreciate it. Thank you.